Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Netherlands has pledged more than 100 million euros to a Czech-led effort aimed at swiftly acquiring artillery ammunition for Ukraine. Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte disclosed this commitment while in Paris for a gathering convened by President Emmanuel Macron to discuss backing for Ukraine, attended by leaders and heads of state from various nations. Rutte stressed the significance of honoring commitments and exploring further avenues of assistance, declaring, the Netherlands is allocating over 100 million euros to the Czech initiative to expeditiously supply hundreds of thousands of artillery shells to Ukraine. This financial contribution constitutes newly earmarked funds finalized last week, according to a spokesperson for the Prime Minister. Ukraine, grappling with an urgent demand for artillery ammunition amidst relentless bombardment by Russian forces, must conserve its existing stockpile. Despite the European Union's pledge to furnish Ukraine with 1 million ammunition units, only half of this commitment has been fulfilled thus far. As highlighted by the Ukrainian Defense Minister, Ukrainian forces require approximately 1,000 artillery shells daily solely for the Bakhmut region, underscoring the substantial need for ammunition. The Czech Republic has succeeded in securing sources for artillery ammunition procurement from countries like South Korea and Turkey, enabling the near-term delivery of nearly half a million artillery munitions. France, a proponent of bolstering European arms production to rejuvenate the continent's defense industry, has signaled its willingness, through President Macron, to partake in this endeavor. Ruta referenced Russian President Vladimir Putin's strategy for protracting the conflict in Ukraine, emphasizing the necessity of a resolute response to demonstrate that time is not on Russia's side. He also alluded to a recent security agreement with Ukraine, pledging bilateral support for at least the next decade. Apart from funding for artillery munitions, the Dutch government previously announced 87 million euros in support for this cause and an additional 10 million euros to fortify Ukraine's cyber defenses. Additionally, another 25 million euros have been designated for the International Fund for Ukraine, intended to finance weaponry for Kyiv. That's all for now. See you later.